This book published in 1729 depicts the Tartarian Empire. Hello, fellow truth seekers. I found this book published in 1729 with many depictions of Tartarians including maps and giants. The book has many images but I just picked out the ones that I found interesting. A link to the full book is in the description below. I struggled to get high resolution images from this book, so I apologize in advance if some of the images are poor quality. This image clearly depicts some sort of siege with an army camp and a fortified town being attacked. I picked this image because it has what looks like an ark to me. It is simply labeled as Procession of the Japanese. It could be a carriage for a person of importance, but at first glance I thought ark. Also worth noting is the giant stood on the front, way bigger in stature than all the other people in the image, he looks twice as tall as a horse. Everything else is to scale so I have no problem taking his size at face value. This image is labeled Fireworks of the Tartars. At first glance I thought it looked like an electrified city, but this is still impressive. We can see all kinds of different fireworks surrounded by high-rise buildings with ornate architecture, and what looks like possible antique tech. I included this map to give weight to the fact that these images are extremely accurate. This body of water is the Black Sea and I could easily find the locations on a modern day map. Take this forked river for example, the area is called Poti. Here it is on a modern day map and it is still called Poti. I think we can safely assume that all the rivers and settlements on this map were accurate at the time of its creation. At first glance of this image I was taken back by the sheer size of these two 20 feet giants. I believe this to be some sort of courtroom. Unfortunately upon reading the notes I believe these two giants are labeled as great silver idols. Does this imply that they are giant statues made out of silver? Still very impressive but I therefore cannot say they are real giants. This image is labeled as very beautiful tomb with three gates and a hill near China. I included this image as I found it interesting and did not know that the ancient Chinese used hills as tombs. I would like to explore these Chinese burial mounds or burial hills in a future video. This image is labeled as Clothes of the Women of Oriental Tartary. I was more interested in the tent in the background. Does this imply these particular Tartars are nomadic? I don't think so. In such a vast empire traveling from A to B would take time and tents would be necessary when traveling long distances. I believe the name of this image translates to Houses of the Tartars Pulled from Carts. A very interesting image, but what stood out to me was the size of these camels. The men barely reach the top of their legs. Surely these are bigger than normal camels. You can see that all the other animals are to the correct scale. According to the University of Kansas fossils of giant camels that lived over 2 million years ago have been found in North America. 8 feet tall at the shoulders, these camels lived in woodland areas and ate leaves off of trees. Unlike modern camels, which live in desert environments where trees are scarce, gigantic camels did not have, or need, a hump or humps used for storing food. Could this be an image of gigantic camelus thought to be extinct over 2 million years ago? This image is labeled as the Palace of the Grand Cham. The only reference I could find to the Grand Cham was a novel written in 1922 that is set in Turkey. However, the occupants of the palace in this image do not look Turkish to me. Neither does the architecture for that matter. I chose this image due to the amazing fountain. Is that a real tree? I don't know. I see no visible pump. This is an amazing ornate fountain. If that is a real tree I have no idea how they would accomplish this. A quick google of the most amazing fountains in the world today tells me that this fountain would be up there with the best. I see very few fountains around today that would rival this. I don't think I can emphasize enough how amazing I find this fountain. There are many more interesting images in the book and I encourage you to check them out for yourself. But I like to keep my videos short, so I will end on this map that is titled, The Great Tartary. Just to show how immense this empire or kingdom was, it stretches from Finland to China, and it's filled with named places. The mainstream narrative is that Tartary was a blanket term for unknown tribes and such. I would suggest a lot of them were known judging by this map. So what do you think? I hope that at the very least you found these old pictures interesting. Let me know in the comments. That is all.